So I know you still can't really see the sea monkeys in this pulled back view, um, mostly because I think uh, a webcam just isn't going to really pick them up too well. But uh, the important thing for us today is that it is uh, the fifth day since they were hatched. So it is time for sea monkey growth food. And uh, remember I told you when we first hatched them that that first um, uh, sort of set of days right after they've hatched you don't have to feed them only because there was a little bit of food included in the uh, the original packets so there's enough to keep them going you don't want to overfeed them when they're little babies but now I'm going to take the packet and the spoon it is really just this tiniest little indentation um, it's uh, <laughs> nothing more than what would be probably about four or five grains of salt if if you tried to scoop up salt with this and dump it on the top that's it and um, it disperses pretty quickly uh, some of it will sink down towards the bottom and some sea monkeys will eat from the bottom some of it will kind of float at the top it kind of makes almost like a, a film up at the top here and sea monkeys will eat up there also there's quite uh quite little that actually kind of floats in the main area but the one thing that we have to watch out for is right now the water has a little bit of a white or i should say a greenish tinge to it that's okay but if the water started to get really kind of funky green that means you have an algae uh, bloom growing and that is dangerous for the sea monkeys because it uses up oxygen for them